Beneath the surface of our everyday tech, a hidden battle rages in the realm of light. Not just any light, but the kind that defines the future of computing. This isn't merely a clash between deep ultraviolet or DUV and extreme ultraviolet or EUV lithography. It's a tale of resilience, innovation, and an unexpected twist. Imagine if the seasoned DUV could outmaneuver the cutting-edge EUV. Join us as we delve into this saga of photons and silicon. Lithography is the intricate process of etching circuits onto silicon using light. For decades, DUV lithography, with its precise 193 nanometers wavelength, has been the cornerstone of semiconductor manufacturing, mastering each new technological node. Enter EUV lithography, boasting a minuscule 13.5 nanometers wavelength, promising unparalleled detail. Yet the semiconductor industry finds itself navigating a labyrinth of challenges, from the high-energy plasma needed to produce EUV light, to the meticulous alignment and focusing required, EUV's complexity and cost are formidable. Meanwhile, DUV lithography isn't standing still. It's innovating with advanced techniques like multiple patterning and immersion lithography, pushing the boundaries to achieve finer scales than ever imagined. Here's where the plot thickens. EUV machines are not just marvels of engineering, they're financial behemoths. Each EUV tool can cost upwards of $150 million, not including the ongoing costs for maintenance, energy, and materials. DUV, however, tells a different economic tale. With a lower initial investment and a history of cost reduction over time, DUV's financial appeal could shift industry preferences. But there's another layer. The yield, or the number of perfect chips produced from each batch, is crucial. DUV might not match EUV's resolution, but what if it can produce more viable chips per run? That could change everything. EUV's promise is marred by significant challenges. The light source, for example, requires turning tin into plasma, a process so delicate it's akin to controlling a miniature sun. Mask defects pose another issue. Even the smallest imperfection can compromise an entire chip. And the power consumption? EUV systems gulp electricity like there's no tomorrow. These aren't mere technical hurdles, they are existential challenges. Meanwhile, DUV has been quietly overcoming its own limitations, with advancements in photoresis materials and alignment precision, making it a formidable competitor at scales once thought to be EUV's domain. DUV's resurgence isn't just about cost-effectiveness or reliability, it's a testament to human ingenuity. Techniques like self-aligned double patterning, SADP, and quadruple patterning, SAQP, enable DUV to transcend its traditional boundaries. Additionally, the advent of high-index immersion fluids has significantly enhanced DUV's potential. While EUV grapples with its steep learning curve and exorbitant costs, DUV is pioneering new methods to shape the future, one nanometer at a time. Could this mean DUV will reign supreme longer than we ever imagined, or perhaps indefinitely? The clash between DUV and EUV isn't just a present-day skirmish. It's a battle to define the future of technology. Will we see a world where DUV remains the artist of choice, perfecting its craft, while EUV becomes a specialized tool for the most niche applications and specialized tasks? Or will EUV overcome its hurdles to claim its place? This saga is far from over, and the outcome will shape not just the chips in our devices, but how we approach innovation itself. In this high-stakes arena of light and matter, every photon is pivotal. We've navigated the intricate world of light and silicon, uncovering how DUV could be making a significant resurgence. If this exploration into the future of technology has piqued your interest, make sure to subscribe to Milwaukee Insights for more deep dives into the tech that shapes our world. And share this video to keep the conversation going. Thanks for watching, and until next time, Stay curious about the light.